I've been in Sunway Medical Center since 2021. It has been a, a really, really good experience. Very, very happy to start off the robotic arthroplasty service here as well. This is uh, something of my dream, my aspiration. Morning, guys. How many patients we have today? Yeah, nine patients. Okay, we've got to finish up early because we are going for our OT after this. Huh? Well, I must say it is a fairly demanding job. I need to make sure that mentally I'm prepared for the day. So the first case is one to theatre. For a good practice, it's not just one person. The clinics, the support system, the operating theatre, and last but not least, the robots that we said just now, all these contributed to a good practice. Without the whole support system, I would say it is not possible to have a really, really good practice. Hello! I need to see way beyond just the knee and the hip. It's the whole patient or the whole person that we are dealing with. How ma? So we need to understand, we need to listen. This part of the communication to and fro between the doctor and a patient, I think is very, very, very important. Okay, you ready to go back? Okay, all good. Okay lah. Huh? Well, it's a lot to do like what I said about the love and passion of my job. Post-surgery, see them recover, get back their lifestyle, being able to go travel again. This feeling is actually second to none. Before going into every single operation, first of all, I need to prepare myself, right? I have a look into this particular patient condition. X-rays. Majority of the time what I will do is I do something we call my surgery. I try my level best to think through the whole process of the surgery and then I prepare my team. Subsequently, I will run through a quick run through onto the steps that I want to do so that everybody is as well prepared as I do. During the surgery, obviously, it is about mind and hands. You must be able to use your hand to carry out what your mind is thinking. Look at that. So I just need to float it out a little bit. What your eyes are seeing and this connection it is very important during the surgery. It is also very, very important that me as a surgeon understand okay. that at that moment, I'm the captain of the ship. I need to be at all time, regardless of whatever situation that we are in, Close to three degrees. has to be the calmest person within the team. So good. In a way, if you want to say it is almost like an orchestra, I would say that you have everybody performing their own instrument and everybody performing their responsibility and then together we make a, a music out of it. Imagine you as a family member sitting outside waiting for your loved one being operated on. You would want to know the very moment that the surgery is a successful one, that your loved one is well taken care of and is now out of the, the surgery. You inform the patient family. Lah. And I think informing them and letting them know the moment I finish the surgery is that important. Majority of the time what I will do is to be able to feel that you have done a good job and sometimes uh, pat yourself at the back and say, you have done well. This is really, really something that I love doing. I keep telling myself, for whatever things that I do now, it is why not. 
and last but not least think about my family now is the time that I go back and see them have a good dinner with them talk to them see my kids so that I can carry on and uh, be positive about everything